location east of Victoria in an estuary that not many people get to. All right, so we push into the Port Albert entrance. We come through from Welsh Pool, and uh, let's have a look. We pulled up on this low tide edge. All right. Theory is, all the fish that would be normally up on here feeding in the high tide all sweep off and sit on this shallow edge here. It's actually five metres of water. This would be an excellent land-based fishing spot at night. For gummies, and I know they get snapper out here too. Big snapper. Anyway, we're going to walk along here, casting little lures and see if we can get ourselves a flatty. It looks really good. fish this next 50 meters right yeah but don't walk near the edge please walk away walk 10 meters to the left what are you doing no I said you go down another hundred meters don't walk near the edge well you fish here and I'll go down there I don't care they're both as good as each other Fins on. I knew it. Too, too much current here. I fished here. Raging current, deep drop. Bellies out there, no current. That deep water would be a perfect lie for flatties. Fins on! That's why I was already walking there. Yep! Oh yeah, big dog, <gasps> big dog, big dusky, walk him up, dusky. yes, walk him up, whoa, oh shit, no. that's big, that's big, that's a dusky is it, yes, holy shit, that's a big dusky, walk, where's your line, where's your line, Him up. Let him go if he wants to go. Whoa. Keep warm the line tight. Come on. You gotta lift, pull him out the beach. Come on. Let him go again. Now keep pulling the line tight, mate. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. 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 <laughs> You're the flathead king! First five seconds. I told you. Look at that water. Look at that water. It's got big flathead written all over it. Um, keep putting in the middle of here. Drag him. There's going to be more, mate. Drag him up. Drag him across. Oh, my God. Drag him. Dragon. No, it's not a dusky, I don't think. It's a, big blue, it's a giant blue spot. It looks like a dusky, though. It had dusky colours when he first came up, but that's actually a big blue spot. Wow. Look at that. Fin. Huge. Oh my god. He's too, what do we do? Do we keep him or release him? Well, it's not a dusky, so we can't keep him. We can keep him because it's a, it's a big blue spot. Well, it looks like a dusky. He's got the markings of a dusky. It's definitely not a dusky. It's a you blue know, spot. You reckon? Yes. Wow. It doesn't have the orange, it's like yellow brown spot. You want you want world class photos? You have to run back and get my phone. Just put a scratch on your on your personal rod that you've had for years. Don't get too close. Put a scratch on it where he was. 
So when we get home, we can actually measure it. But I say 75 to 80, 75 centimeters. Let's go fishing. Let's get more, mate. There'll be more here. That's the thing. Push harder, mate. Come on. Push harder. Adrian will love this. Push, mate. Push. It's working. Nearly in the hole. Keep going, buddy. That's it, mate. Fish away, lads. Last time we did this bank, the very last time we came here, we caught a bloody beast. This time of day too, wasn't it? Was this time of day? It's like a familiar day, isn't it, Paul? Just a classic up on this bank, working our ass off and catching shit all. Yeah. It always comes good in the end, doesn't it? It does. It takes one second, the rod just goes dunk, and your whole day's changed. That's a good cast. This could have been cast. I got two in two casts after he went out for his birthday. Yeah. How good was that? We'll be casting these for over 2,000 casts today on this boat for no flathead. We'll wait until the end of the day and we'll come to our best spot. This is the best drift on our best spot. It's now or never. So if you're watching this, I'm tipping, magic is about to happen. January, December. Done. Maybe we can go oh. Yes. Oh, yes. That's a funny. Wow. Thank you very much. A little bit. A little one, but it's a funny, and that's all that matters. You've got to steer him into the net, okay? Oh, that's a nice, nice one. Oh, that's not bad. That's it, Jeff. You got steering in there, Jeff. Get your rod tip low. Lift, get your rod tip low and wind a bit more. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's, no, no, no. Just pull. No, just pull. He drags a little bit light, I'd say. That's it. Steer him into the net, mate. Mate, lift him. Uh, Finn, don't chase him. <gasps> you chased him. Is he in the net? Scoop it up now, upside down, that's it. That's just... Get him in. I don't know what that net when he wants. You've got him in the boat. Oh, fucking awesome, mate. Oh, I mean, sorry, that was very good. Yep. Thanks, Winger. You Thanks, mean, buddy. That's 500 casts today for you. Yeah, oh, mate, you're not wrong. He's a Have a look, that's fish. the biggest 
So that is the biggest flathead I've ever caught in my life, mate. I've, I've, awesome. just got, I've just got a bit more energy to go a bit longer now. That's yeah, a small one. Actually, Maybe uh, they weren't. Oh, he's a bloody ripper. That's on the small one. Get the lure out of him, old boy. Let's go team effort. I'll spot like a sin. Wind it up. Oh, no. Yeah, we have you to. You have to, by law. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let me take a photograph of it. Oh, we'll get plenty of photos for you. So we'll just get the lure out first. So we've done um, over 2,000 casts for that fish today. And we stuck with the big glide baits. And we believed in the area. And we just persisted. And eventually it's happened for Jeff. This is a fish of a lifetime for him. Yeah. Oh, it's 70. 72. What did I just say? hold it on there. Just hold it on there, buddy. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's actually 73. Because it's the bottom lip, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so I can pull them back so they almost disappear. Right, lift him up higher. Ro rotating towards me. <laughs> Under him. That's it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that was amazing. Thanks so much, mate. That was really, really good. There. Yeah. Wow. That is spectacular, mate. That was amazing. Mate. Yeah, no, that was good. That is, a, that is, it means a lot when you earn it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, mate. I, I, I was thinking just before I did that cast, my back's starting to wake, my arms are aching. You know, we've just been doing so much casting, but boy, oh boy, it's great. Let's go and see if we can all get one now, eh? Thanks, Winger. Champion. Yeah. Holy shit. Finn's just discovered an SLR. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna give it. I reckon we give it another half an hour, guys. Really? We could upsize that. Oh, right. Imagine what an 80 looks like or a 90. I don't know why I keep Yes! That big frog. <laughs> Look at him. A good one. <laughs> the white one. Uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It's a big decent flathead. There we go. We've got the full hook up live on tape. He's a lovely fish. Nothing like that. Big white size. Oh, it's got it doesn't go off, it just goes. Yeah. Maybe, what are you? Have we got a, a, a brag mat? We can take it out. I want to talk about this rod. I very rarely talk about these. This rod, I hand selected out of the catalogue, hoping it was going to be the ultimate soft plastic. Um, Big glide bait casting special, okay, for lake tyres. Turns out it's probably the best rod I've ever had in my hand ever. It is absolutely frigging amazing to use. All right, the feel and the weight, the grip arrangement is absolutely superb. And here's the thing, these big glide baits, they're 60 grams. You cast a 60 gram lure on the wrong rod, you'll snap the rod. So this is the Shimano T-Curve. It's the one with the light grey bindings, okay, I've got it, these are the Faz light guides, so they're super light, and the model is the 701 extra heavy light spin, let's have a look, spin light weight 5 to 10 kilos, yeah, remember that grip arrangement, you're working with this for 2000 casts all day, you want to enjoy it, no threads, no bullshit, no plastic, soft, soft, 
all day in your hand like that. Seven footer. Have a look, look down the rod fin. Absolute amazing rod. And I just want people to know about it. If you're going to come and do glide baiting and casting big stick baits and poppers, I would even believe that this rod would catch bluefin tuna to 30 or 40 kilos if you're patient enough. It's that strong. I've had it, actually had it hooked up in, in some snags and I've worked those bastards out. But the casting for this rod is, is amazing. I outcast every other rod on the boat today with this, casting the same lures and the same line class. I also caught Murray Codnut last week. So there you go, that's my one and only rod endorsement for 2021. So take it serious. <laughs> They are amazing. Oh, if you oh. Why is that a hit? See how we're using the rod? It's just so light and effortless. And the reel I've paired it with, a reel I've never used before, this is the brand new Stratic 4000 XG. Incredible, light, big go. spool head, smoother game gears and not the big round knob handle for offshore. This is an SV special. So this is the latest gen. And it's been a long time since I've had new rods and reels. Okay, Finn, do you want to just keep doing that for the camera, mate? What were you doing? What were you doing? I went something like this. The whole time I was talking and trying to put me off. It didn't work. <laughs>